Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back. I wanted to do a review about a planner I received, an astrological planner by the Magic of Eye. This is not sponsored <laughs> and I will link the planner in the description and the site where I got it from. I will do a 2021 setup when I have all my stuff after Christmas. But this one I thought was pretty interesting and I am very excited to use it. This is a planner that is about, well, astrological things. It says right on the back what it's for. I, I have it in the A6 size. This is the pocket size. They do have it in a a5 size which is bigger and it's also in white with gold uh, engravings or lettering whatever and in black I have the black version it also arrived with a beautiful like business card I imagine like a thank you card but I will probably keep this and use it for a cover or something there was also added a uh, pretty sticker with the with the logo which I will probably also use anyway the planner I will be using this for like a dream journal or for my tarot spreads because I do tarot let's get into the planner this is the first page it's very pretty you can add your name and sun and moon and a rising or ascendant there's a lot of information on how to use the planner you can add your personal birth chart which I might do I'm not sure yet there's information on how to use the moon signs and elements and uh, how to work with the moon how to use the calendar optimum times and general dates and a yearly ov overview the dates are us and uh, calendar dates which are like us holidays I imagine and Canadian holidays uh, but also like the equinoxes and the wheel of the year festivals for anyone who celebrates those and they have the planner I know uh, they have it in two time versions one of them is a well PS or PDT whatever like uh, the US Pacific Standard Time which can also be used for like Europeans and well I am European so this is what <laughs> I use they also have a, a southern hemisphere uh, version of this uh, which is obviously useful for Australians Asians um, people who live in the southern hemisphere basically <laughs> this is very nice a uh, astrological reference guide for people who are just learning this stuff or who want to use it I do use some of it but well I'm not learning it so well, it, it's nice to have it's certainly very nice to have more reference guides a moon planting guide i have never used the moon for i'm also quite i have two black thumbs so i don't i don't plant but yes well maybe maybe this will help there's also an astro code deacon tarot wheel like this is pretty deep i think pretty deep tarot astrological stuff which i I might reference sometimes but like I don't I don't really use it but this is 
very interesting. It's very good to have uh, correspondences uh, and uh, astrological bodies, movements, retrogrades, and uh, moon phases, the menstrual cycle, which is interesting for me, I guess. There is a lot, a lot of information, especially for people who have never used any astrology in their life, planning, whatever. This is very interesting. And um, the moon phases, the, the zodiac signs and which phase they're in, and it's very interesting. Uh, exact aspects uh, although I think for me I would have to like convert those times because I am not PST so yeah but it's still a lot easier than like if I had the other panel which I didn't get obviously we have a uh, yearly overview with new and full moon dates and eclipses this year and retrogrades and stuff that's a lot of info uh, this is the year and it starts with january and like specific things for this month uh, with like where the moon is and uh, themes and reflections and important astrological transits and then we have a monthly overview. It's a Monday start. This is pretty, like, I don't think you can, like, add a lot of your own stuff. There's, like, a lot of info on planets and what houses and stuff they're in. And then you go into the week. No, those are monthly goals. Okay, weekly goals. This is interesting. I will probably use this as some type of tarot since, um, like a reference card, since I do like to make a um, sort of wheel of the year spread. But I also like sometimes to make a weekly spread for us and I will probably reference those uh, this here this weekly um, overview I don't know if you can see it it's a uh, horizontal Saturday and Sunday are like in one I will use this there's there's also a lot of info on here and uh, obviously the dates and stuff and like the astrological info for this year uh, for this day I will probably use this as sort of dream journal and also for like any kind of spiritual ritual and things I do um, as a reference guide I do have like a uh, bigger book where I note down like bigger things that I'm wanting to keep like you could call it a grimoire but this one is more like a workbook or like notes I have thoughts I have dreams and stuff this is this is not going to be like a proper day-to-day uh, -day planner you could use it as such I, but I imagine the uh, A5 size would be better for that and this one is just small I will keep it on my bed stand and uh, nightstand what what's it called nightstand <laughs> we have like a end of month spread for like the full moon and the new moon and then we go into the next month and again the info the the art i must say is quite exquisite i love it it's very pretty and it goes on like that with the monthlies and weeklies up until i imagine december yes 
December and then we have the December end spread okay oh this is wow this is microscopic <laughs> I'm sorry I um those are like planetary ephemeris I have no clue what that is um, I'm guessing those are like the coordinates and stuff which is like deep astrology I don't use that but this is I'm, I imagine this is very useful to have but this is very very small like if you have issues with your vision I will suggest either get the bigger version which I imagine uh, will be bigger or maybe not I don't know or get like one of those uh, what are they called like you know the reading lens thingies that like enlarge the script you know what I mean yeah this is very small and then there is a few notes pages lined ones like four or so which is yeah, well I mean it could be useful this is what is this this is illustrations guide for oh they you uh, they uh, note the plans for the like correspondence plans for the month or they like telling what kind of plans they use for which month um and this is very nice it looks it looks pretty good sorry <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes and the last page is like a well advertisement and a quote and that's it yes well this is a pretty nice planner i'm if i if i like it this year for my dream journaling and my spiritual practice things and stuff I might actually if they make one for 2022 I might uh, move into the bigger version because well I'm getting old and this is really small <laughs> um, yes anyway so yeah that's a nice planner I thought people would be interested in it and uh, anyway thank you for watching please don't forget to like and I'll see you next time.